welcome to life on board a 70 series Toyota Land Cruiser. You didn't think Toyota made these anymore, did you? But they do, and they're not sophisticated. Twirly steering, horrendous ride, 4.2 litre, diesel engine, no turbo. So who buys these? Well, who do you think buys these? So more to the point, where do they buy them? My God. <laughs> Whether it's supporting a conservation project, disaster relief or a peacekeeping role, pretty much every car you see on the news once came through here. An underground car park in Gibraltar. This is where the UN, NGOs, international aid agencies and governments come to buy their vehicles. There are over a thousand cars in here. Every single one of them a white Toyota. There are Hiaces, Hiluxes, Prados, even the occasional RAV4. But mostly there are Land Cruisers. Come and have a look at these things. Look, steel wheels or knobbly tyres. Snorkel, manual wing mirrors, manual door locks. The question is, what are they doing in Gibraltar rather than Japan? Well, Toyota in Japan builds the basic cars, but the UN doesn't want basic cars. It needs cars that are ready to hit whatever environment they're going into. So here we've got loads of spare parts. Look, sand ladders, air compressors, jerry cans, all kinds of stuff. So this company grew up supplying spare parts for Toyotas, and then things sort of snowballed. Because look, it's not just the small things, look what we got here. Bull bars, winches, differentials, tyres, and all these things that are then built up into individual kits of parts to be fitted to the vehicles, which happens in here. Look, let me show you what I mean. Here we've got a standard Land Cruiser, but it's been fitted with new tyre, jerry can holder, in fact, new wheels and tyres all round. And if you come down to the engine bay, got battery redundancy, it's got a spare 12 volt battery, a bull bar, the winch, it's got the mounting point for the high frequency radio over there. And look, there's the controller for the HF radio, and oh, jazzy, this one's been fitted with a CD player. The UN aid agencies and NGOs use these 70 series Land Cruisers because they're mechanically bulletproof, they're robust, they're super simple, there's no electronics on them and little to go wrong. So they can be fixed wherever in the world they end up. And are you thinking you've just spotted a green one? Well, you have, but it didn't arrive green, okay? Here, they can even paint the cars. So this one started white, paint code 058. And in case you're wondering what that one's for, well, it's an anti-poaching vehicle that's off to a conservation project in Tanzania. They do not do armour plating here. This is not the sort of place where you can go for a military specification vehicle. Toyota and the UN do not want to be involved in that sort of business, but they do do a lot of metal fabrication here for parts, for under trays and things like that. And look, they even work on Corollas. This one is here to have a shatterproof film fitted to its windows. At the upper end, they turn these 70 series Land Cruisers into all sorts of things. Mobile workshops, laboratories, libraries, mother and baby clinics, prison vans, and even ambulances. Look, this one's fully kitted out with all sorts of stuff in here so they can operate on people in the back, whereas this one over here is much simpler. This is the let's get them to hospital as quickly as we can one, which has basically got a white clean floor and a stretcher. It's all quite bespoke stuff, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I was expecting them to just churn cars through here. But in fact, they do an awful lot of work and modification here before they're sent out. 90% of those cars you saw in the warehouse at the start come through here, 650 cars a month. 
and this is where they end up, loaded onto transporters and ships, occasionally even planes, and transported all around the planet to perform whatever roles are needed in whatever environment they face. Over 300 vehicles, many of them ambulances, have already gone to Ukraine. And what of the car itself? Emissions regulations mean you now can't register a new 70 series Land Cruiser in Europe. And you might think that's a shame. It's the roughest, toughest, coolest utilitarian 4x4 there is. But at the end of the day, it's not a car, it's a tool. A white Toyota, paint code 058, might represent salvation, medicine, education, hope, aid, food, relief. It's a sign, above all, that things will get better. And if that's not a worthwhile role for a car to play, I don't know what is.